Hello everyone, my name is Jacob Wall. Today's topic is, is air pollution good air or bad air? Okay, before I say is air pollution a good air or a bad air, let me get into some details. Alright, I looked up air pollution and see if it's a good air or a bad air. And air pollution can cause asthma and diseases. When I looked up air pollution, it brought a photo of a factory. And it also has global warming. Which I've been here also hearing that we do not have global warming. All the weathers we're having is the same weathers we had back in the past. Now, I looked up diseases, and I'm going to name some of them off to you. Um, it is asthma, pernoctitis. I'm going to bring them up on the screen here. Asthma and possibly cancer. This is what I think. When I was looking it up, I saw air quality, and as you can see, air quality alert. Um, you get it alert sometimes. Air quality alert. Air pollution. It's bad. When you hear global warming, we are not in global warming. Okay. I mean, I I know I'm 25 years old. I'm a young man. But I'm telling you this by what I've heard. The the same weather is the same weather we had 20 some 30 some years ago. Don't don't be fooled. Um if air pollution causes diseases and asthma and all the health health stuff, then yeah, air pollution is bad. Okay, it is time to get saved. I would like you to go to Romans chapter 3 and verse 23. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That means we all have sinned. We all have made mistakes. None of us is perfect. I would like you to go to Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. For well, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. I know. Because we all have sinned, we all deserve to die and go to hell. But don't worry, I got another verse to say that is Romans chapter 5 and verse 8. But God just mercy states his own love toward us, and that while we're still sinners, Christ died for us. Christ died for us. He died for me and you, so we don't have to go to hell when we die. But we have to do one thing, though, and I would like you to go to Romans chapter 10 and verse 9 through 10. We'll jump over to verse 13. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved, for with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Once you ask God to come to your heart, you will be saved. Let's get saved right now. Don't wait till next week, because there may not be a next week. Dear Jesus, I know that I am a sinner, and that you died and rose from the dead for me. Please forgive me for my sin and take me to heaven when I die. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. If you just prayed, you are now saved. I'd like to go to 1 John chapter 5, verse 11 to 13.
that in this testimony the, that God has given us eternal life is in his Son. He who has the Son has life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have life. These things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God that you may know that you have true life and that you may continue to believe in the name of the Son of God. You can know that you are saved. It's not a hope so, it's a no so. I would like you to go to John chapter 10 and verse 28. And I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. I like that verse. No one cannot take you away from God. No one cannot. I like you to go to Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 to 20. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me, in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Teaching them to observe all things that I have. Commend you, although I am with you always, to even to the end of the age. Hey, amen. Baptism is the next step after getting saved. And baptism does not get you to heaven. Baptism does not. I would like you to go to Acts chapter 2, verse 41 through 42. Then those who gladly received his word were baptized in that day. About 3,000 souls were added to them, and they continued to sell the past the apostles' doctrine, fellowship, and the breaking of bread, and in prayers. Go to church and learn about the gospel. I would like to go to 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 2. As newborn babes are the poor milk of the word that you may grow thereby. I would like to go to Philippines chapter 4 verse 6 to 7. He acts for nothing, but in everything by prayer and the supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known to God, and the peace of God will suppress us all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Read your Bible and pray every day. Prayer changes things. Last verse for the day. I'll let you go to John chapter 3 and verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God loves us. He loves me and you. That's all I have. Um, next week's topic is what are all types of air pollution? Goodbye, everyone.